Insights from Reed Hastings and Aaron Myers. No Rules Rules. Brought to you by InstaRead. Netflix is known for its unique company culture and unusual policies like unlimited vacation. Written by its founder, Reed Hastings, and business professor, Aaron Meyer, No Rules Rules lifts the curtain on the company culture that contributed to Netflix's meteoric rise and dominance of Hollywood. Insight number one, a fast and innovative workplace is based on talent density. Few but highly talented people of diverse backgrounds and perspectives who are exceptionally creative, accomplish significant amounts of important work, and collaborate effectively. When you fire the people who aren't doing their best, you'll notice that the atmosphere will become positive and inspirational for the remaining workers. That's because the entire office will feel like it's filled with people who are madly in love with their work. If you have a team of four and one person is a slacker, the others will be less enthusiastic about the work and they'll probably stop trying. If you have a team of three talented employees, they will do wonders. If you have a group with a few merely adequate performers, that performance is likely to spread, bringing down the performance of the entire organization. Number two, openly voicing opinions and feedback instead of whispering behind one another's backs reduces employee and management backstabbing and politics and allows them to work faster. The more people hear what they could do better, the better everyone gets at their jobs and the better they perform as a company. It's stressful and unpleasant to hear what we are doing poorly, but after the initial stress, that feedback really helps. Most people intuitively understand that a simple feedback loop can help them get better at their jobs. You might think the first step for cultivating candor would be to begin with what's easiest, having the boss give copious feedback to the staff. But it's when employees begin providing truthful feedback to their leaders that the big benefits of candor really take off. As a boss, your behavior while you're getting the feedback is a critical factor. You must show the employee that it's safe to give feedback by responding to all criticism with gratitude. Feedback must be given with positive intent. Giving feedback in order to get frustration off your chest or intentionally hurting the other person should not be tolerated. Your feedback must focus on what the recipient can do differently. Number three, unlimited vacation helps attract and retain top talent and reduces bureaucracy and the administrative costs of keeping track of who is out and when. Most important, the freedom signals to employees that they are trusted to do the right thing, which in turn encourages them to behave responsibly. In the absence of a policy, the amount of vacation people take largely reflects what they see their boss and colleagues taking. Which is why, if you want to remove your vacation policy, start by getting all leaders to take significant amounts of vacation and talk a lot about it. Number four, Netflix's mantra, don't seek to please the boss, means that employees don't need the boss's approval to move forward but they should let the boss know what's going on. If your employees are excellent and you give them freedom to implement the bright ideas they believe in, innovation will happen. Employees are usually afraid to disagree with their boss. At Netflix, however, it is considered disloyal to the company if you disagree with an idea and do not express that disagreement. By withholding your opinion, you are implicitly choosing to not help the company. Number five, in order to cultivate high talent density, managers should frequently apply the keeper test. If a person on your team were to quit tomorrow, would you try to change their mind? Or would you accept their resignation? If it's the latter, you should fire them now and look for someone you'd fight to keep. Number six, there is one Netflix guideline that if practiced religiously, would force everyone to be either radically candid or radically quiet. Only say about someone what you will say to their face. Netflix's management team realized that in a company with thousands of employees, it was impossible to have everyone sit down with their managers 
for a formal performance review, so they created an online system where employees can give feedback to anyone else at the company and the recipient can reply. The 360 feedback process is designed to give you feedback from your peers and your boss. Your boss gives you feedback on your strengths and weaknesses. Your peers give you feedback on how you can improve. Live 360 feedback sessions work when you have high talent density and a no brilliant jerks policy. If your employees are immature, have bad attitudes, or lack the self-confidence to show public vulnerability, they have no place on your team. You want to be very careful not to shame anyone. So if someone steps out of line during a live 360, the leader needs to step in and correct the comment in real time. Number seven, leadership with control is when the boss approves and directs the initiatives, actions, and decisions of the team. On the other hand, leading with context is when bosses provide all the information so that team members make great decisions and accomplish their work without someone controlling their actions. When considering whether to lead with context or control, the key question to ask is whether your goal is error prevention or innovation. If your focus is on eliminating mistakes, then control is best. But if your goal is innovation, control is counterproductive. Number eight, in today's information age, in many companies and on many teams, the objective is no longer error prevention and replicability. On the contrary, it's creativity, speed, and agility. In the industrial era, the goal was to minimize variation but in creative companies today, maximizing variation is more essential. Of course, you can't just remove the rules and processes. Tell your team there are no rules and expect it to succeed. Without the right conditions, chaos will ensue. You have to actively seek and build a team that is innovative, fast, and flexible. All in all, consider your company a jazz band. Don't provide a musical score and build a symphonic orchestra. Work on creating those special conditions and hire the type of employees who want to be part of an improvisational band. When it all comes together, the music is beautiful. We hope you enjoyed the insights from Reed Hastings and Aaron Myers, No Rules Rules. If you liked this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Visit instaread.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.